Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Dohertyville Transit Station. This is the third largest transit station in the KRTA network. Now, I want everyone to actually do this. This station is considered a joint venture between the KRTA and the Alex World Department of Transportation. This fence right here actually separates Cosmopolitan Rapid Transit Authority property, and uh, then this separates the Alex World Light Metro property. So these are two separate stations. However, they've been extremely integrated. So let's start with the KRTA side. Over here is, of course, the... What route is this? This bus is off. I hate when they do that. They have to stop turning these buses off. Okay, let's go in the station. So one of the announcements downstairs for some reason is malfunctioning. So it's ringing as if a train is approaching the station when that's not even true. And it's just annoying. Okay, so here, your maintainer area goes in I guess okay this station is actually brand new it is still under construction remember how we said every KRTA station is going to have a secure room where unruly passengers are taken into custody until they can be transferred to Grand Central under college across there is our 14,000 um, parking deck 14,000 park, not 14,000, 1,400 parking spaces. Those rooms back there are actually going to be used by the Alex World Light Metro, so the doors are on the outside. And it's also the ancillary room for the Alex World Light Metro. So, on this level, this is where the east and westbound trains, green trains, are. This station is not finished yet, so it's it's just not done. We have a lot of work to do. Eventually, trains will continue to break. So you see how the, it lights up? Now, there are no tracks in that tunnel. Well, it goes in a little bit, but that's about it. There are no tracks. Trains cannot come from that direction yet. So something's wrong with a circuit. So the next station to this is Bradenville, and then the subsequent station is actually Birch Hall. So over here will be dining spaces. And let's cut through the regional rail platforms. So right now, this is your regional rail platform, which is actually longer than your local train. And here's an interesting view into the um, connector tunnel. You can hear the dripping noises, apparently. It's a pretty drippy place. Over here, you're going to have retail. And then as you see with pretty much all the other stations, this is the ancillary. There are two of these at this station, one for regional rail and one for the tracks up here at local. This is your energy room. And over there is the exact same thing. We're not even going to bother to go because it looks exactly the same. As we're headed upstairs, We are going to go ahead and head on over to the Alex World Light Metro side. So this is where blue and yellow trains for the Alex World Light Metro will enter and exit. Now, these trains are supposed to go no greater than five miles an hour while in the loop. Remember, you can't walk in here at all for any reason it's illegal no walking in trackway violators will be arrested 
while it's crossing this crosswalk, the light metro tram is to stop, blow the horn, let passengers know, and then proceed going one mile an hour. This station will be manned 24 hours a day as well. So this is the Alex Roy Light Metro side. Right now a lot of the signaling is going in place. Train testing has not begun on this side of the station yet. And that is a control tower. So this control tower will actually be responsible for all of the track alignments into and out of Gordyville Station. So this is the entire station complex. It is designed to accommodate all Alex Royal Light Metro lines. Four different regional rail services will stop here, eight of them during the peak. East and westbound green trains will also stop here, as well as a school train in the mornings and evenings. And then, of course, plenty of parking spaces and kiss ride uber lift also her ride also stops at this particular station so thank you for coming with us on the short tour of the dortyville station the reason why it's so short and the station is so big is because it is a simple station so a lot of the stations downtown alex world avenue grand central hunter college cosmos church those stations are not even as big, but they are not simple. Everything is compact, everything is simple, everything is located in a small general area. And that's exactly how the new stations are being designed. Also, this used to be the shopping villages at Dortyville before all of these condom condominiums are, were put up. So this station was actually designed with the facade of a grocery store. So that was the purpose of the station design. However, it no longer fits in with all of these condos that have now been put up. Well, have a wonderful day and thank you for going with us on the tour of Dortyville Station.